Hey there guys, Classic Armor here, and welcome to my first Let's Play in the Battle of the Backlog series. A game by From Software. Oh! Silicon City, I didn't even realize they were part of this. The reason that surprises me is because I just finished Bravely Default, like, last night. That game is fantastic. If you have any affinity for class-based RPGs, like class changing, Final Fantasy V, Tactics, that kind of thing, I absolutely recommend Bravely Default. I also recommend this game, 3D Dot Game Heroes, if you have any affinity for old school gaming, especially Legend of Zelda. As you can see, the title screen already referencing the first Zelda, mostly by way of the vines in the title. You know, the original Zelda did that. What do you mean you don't remember that? What do you mean I'm weird for remembering shit like that? Oh well. This is a game that really has a lot of stuff going on, including a character editor. You can... I don't think I have anyone on this profile. No, I don't. But you can actually just design your own character if you like. Which, you know, let's briefly go into that. You have all these different um, animations that you have to work on, or stances that then form into an animation. And you can use uh, like presets and then change them. Do all kinds of stuff. But uh, that's going to take way, way, way too long to actually get into you know, like fully. Just wanted to briefly show you could do that. And there are even references just in the characters you can choose. In fact, let's go ahead and start a new game, and here you go. You see, you have all these characters, plus pages upon pages of more characters. And, um, as I understand, there's three classes of character. The hero, the prince, and the scholar? Or, royal and scholar. Which, I think that basically changes, uh, like, your stat growth? Not entirely certain. I've never played the game all the way through, but, uh... Well, that's there. I'm probably just gonna be playing a hero character, myself. But you can... <laughs> you can play the... <laughs> you can play a beholder! Like, you know, the giant eye monsters from D&D. Oh my god. This game. You could play an arcade machine. As an arcade machine. Or a caged bird. Bunny blade. I have to wonder if that isn't like a, uh... You saw you a Jimbo reference. It may be. <laughs> Duckman. <laughs> Someone cosplaying a dragon. This game. This game is the best game in existence. Uh, one of the actual references... Oh, I kind of want to see what the mimic attack animation is. That I wanted to show off, though. Um, Taco Man! I think they were way earlier. Oh, hey, Sackboy! From that game. Little Big Planet. Yeah, took me a little while to remember I... Didn't really play or like that game. Yes, From is the, uh, like, canonical hero. But there's the president. The XD7th president of the United States. From, uh, oh god, what is that game called? Like, Wolf Chaos? Commander Wolf Chaos? Robot Wolf Chaos? Something like that ridiculous Japanese only released Xbox original game where you play as the president in a giant mech fighting United Forces because the uh, vice president has betrayed you or some whatever. Another favorite of mine is the heroine who for um, anyone who looked at more than enough Dragon Quest 3 art um like, box art or instruction manual stuff, is the warrior class for females in Dragon Quest III. Almost dead on. And, you know, this weird 
very blocky, pixely style. Anyway, enough uh, gushing over just the extreme number of references here. Let's just pick from and get on. Oh, I could change the name. You know, something that's always whoop, bothered me? Names that are all capitals. Proper grammar. There we go. I have made a uh, recreation of the first Dragon Quest main character before on this. They're just on my other PlayStation 3 profile. So, this intro is going to be very similar. Six magic orbs, six sages, a dark king. Hmm. Yeah, this doesn't seem reminiscent at all to any Legend of Zelda game ever. Or maybe all of them, actually. <laughs> Straight down to a guy wearing what appears to be a tunic, wielding a sword and shield. However, he's got a helmet instead of a floppy hat. And the sages powered the youth with the light orb, which is directly a item from Dragon Quest. Like, it's just straight up called the light orb. <laughs> Trapped him inside of a dark orb. Why not? Oh man, this game. It gets me right in the nostalgic part without any actual nostalgia. Like, you know, it's not a game I played in the past. It's just very reminiscent of a lot of them. And the humor is a little tongue-in-cheek. Like, it's kind of wink-wink-nudge-nudge, huh? Reference. Especially the commercials. Oh my god. Back in... 2009, 2010, the commercials for this game you could see on TV or online were just irreverent and amazing. And unfortunately, this kind of... What they're doing here in the storyline really sets home the whole thing of, you know, the way gaming had gone for a while. No one cared about 2D anymore, and everything had to be 3D, so they went to make this 3D in like the most superficial way possible. <laughs> kind of like the way a 3DS game would be, only not visually popping out at you, but uh, things are standing above, you know, in three dimensions, but it won't affect any amount of the gameplay. At least I don't think it does. It basically plays like Zelda 1 or Link to the Past. Or Link's Awakening. Or the Oracle games. Or the Minish Cap. Or the Legend of Zelda A Link Between Worlds. Which I also just started, so this could be bad for me. I might be playing way too many Zelda light games at one time. And that text is too slow. Sealed, but not slain, because we can never actually slay the bad guy. Otherwise, we wouldn't have room for a sequel! Yep. Man. That's like... That is painfully slow text. So, Sacred Forest. And we actually have control of this guy now. And, like I said, it's very much a Zelda game. Right down to the swinging a sword. The sword is massive, but it's uh, it's still a sword. Even spin slash, although it's done differently. And the view is obviously a little different, but well, we'll be fixing that later. Where's my pictures? Oh man, I can't even pause right now to fix that. So. You may have noticed there was that, uh, screen with, like, an eyeball in the hallway. That's loading art. It's something the game does a lot of. There's, oh, how many? I think it's 107 different loading arts. And they all reference old games.
Oh, of course, you must set some kind of a trap for the next hero. And place the not master sword in a pedestal in not the lost woods. Dotnia. I, I do like that name for a kingdom. For as silly as this game is going to be, I'm all down with calling it Dotnia. Oh, and of course, like all good Zelda like games, our main character starts off waking up. I did sleep well last night. Strange dream? Hmm. That's also not, you know, completely like all other games. <laughs> but you, I know that they're doing it kind of the way Double Dragon Neon was being egregiously bro-ish for the sake of, uh, you know, humor. You weren't supposed to take it seriously. That's kind of the way this game is doing all the tropes. It's doing them, but then it's going to play with it and make fun of them. It's like, teasingly, not maliciously. <laughs> I think that's a fun little bit of text there. True Heroes Dream 3D. I think it's kind of like, what? Something about dreams that are real being in color? Or maybe more prophetic or something, whatever. I have a lot of weird prophetic dreams that just give me a sense of deja vu like every six weeks or so. Uh-oh. Guard wants to see me, which can never be good, right? You don't want the officers to come to your home and be like, so, we need the sock. They meant to say talk, not stock. They're totally stalking you all the same, though. The king request your presence at the castle. Seriously, the text. I have to fix this. Also, the lack of loading art. Things I must... Ah, Game! Just pushes me forward. I can't pause. Oh, my pleasure. Yeah, of course it's imperiled. Why wouldn't it be? And, of course, you're also the descendant of the legendary hero. Like Dragon Quest 1. And 2, in a way. How nice of him! Let's go to the Northern Forest and get his sword. That way we can fight all the evil in the world, alone! Right. Which... Wouldn't that make me king? Oh wait, no, that's a different legend. Of course, means that I'm the hero. Really? It, it's, like, not that far into the forest. Well, okay then. Oh, I think you can actually say no enough times that you just get a game over a screen or get sent back to the title. And then you have to redo all the openings, so don't do that. Unless you really want to, it, it could be kind of funny text. It's dangerous to go alone, so take this! <laughs> like, that's almost directly the line. It's different enough to be legally distinct, but it's almost exactly the line. And we get a wooden sword. Oh, and a shield. Great! Cool. <sighs> more talking. Well, good. I have more faith than you doing that. Okay, cool. So finally we have our HUD and what things do. We can guard, which is visually emblematic because, you know, the shield's bigger. You also move a lot slower and you strafe. We have, of course, the normal equipment menu, uh, fairies, key items, life shards, which totally aren't going to be just like pieces of heart. They're not. They're apples. Entirely different. And, um, uh, we can actually do a lot with our swords in this game, but we'll get into that when it's pertinent. What I want to do now is... get to the options, because this is going to be bothering me. Um, let's make it just a little brighter. Saturate the color just a tiny bit more. Let's go up there. 
Oh, I can't change the camera angle in here. Loading art on. Um, let me know if... No. There we go. If the loading art is going to get annoying for you guys, I would really like to show most of it. Like this! That's Spy vs. Spy! Yes! Sorry, I... I really enjoyed that game. Ooh, I believe that's Dragon... Warrior 1. The American version. They actually do have both Japanese and American versions. Okay, thank god. Outside can... Change screen. This camera angle is garbage. C is way more like the original Zelda in Link to the Past. I think I like the middle ground, the B. Where, you know, the camera's more overhead, but it's not like, you know, super imposingly, you can only see uh, what's directly on your screen. This allows me to see just a little more to the north. A little bit less the south, but whatever. Also, bunny corns! Like Dragon Quest III. Kinda. Unfortunately, the sword? Nowhere near as awesome as the sword we had from uh, our dream there. Also, apparently, I'm gaining trophies. On a profile I don't even do for anything but Let's Plays. And let's head into the forest. And have a Castlevania 2. Um, I think that was Simon's Quest. Anyway. Oh, see that how that guy has, like, a halo? That means that he's stronger than normal. Ow. Fantastic. Like, the fourth enemy in the game already getting hit. Ooh, we maximized the power of our weapon. Which I think with the sword means roughly nothing. Come back here. Um, you know what? I want to test something. Don't remember if the shield actually protects you from, uh... Okay, it does. I couldn't remember if it was just projectiles, like, you know, Zelda 1 and Link to the Past, or if it was, like, Link's Awakening, where it actually protects you from their physical attacks. I didn't expect to get that trophy. I was just playing around. Oh god. Living statues. It's sort of like the Eastern Palace boss, only... A little different. You don't have the bow and arrow to make it super simple. Also, after a few hits, they start jumping more erratically and way, way longer, which makes it so much more difficult to hit them. There we go. After three hits, they go down. Split into tiny, tiny bits. And you can't just spam on them. They, they have too much of a vulnerability frame. There we go. And then from here... Oh, wow. That was really lucky. They don't normally jump right back at you and land in front of you. And for beating a boss, we get another trophy! And... Um? Is that sword different? I swear the sword is not the same as the other. Uh, but let's go ahead and pull it out. It's gotta be better than this, like, wooden or copper one, whatever we're using. We get the Ancient Sword! 